815 Arizona. Sponsored by Mountain America Credit Union. Record heat, prolonged drought, rising sea levels. Across the country, weather extremes are getting worse due to climate change, according to the latest National Climate Assessment. But as meteorologist Jorge Torres explains, there is hope for the future. Warming is going to continue until we reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions globally. That's one of the key messages in the fifth National Climate Assessment, a report that highlights what could happen to life on Earth if temperatures keep rising due to increasing greenhouse gas emissions, a message that was echoed by ASU professor and one of the report's authors, Margaret Garcia. And the U.S. is a significant contributor to those greenhouse gases, so therefore we're a significant part of that solution. One trend observed by climate scientists was the extent of hot summer nights nationwide growing at a faster rate than hot summer days, especially in the Southwest. We do know in some areas nighttime temperatures are a better predictor of um, adverse health outcomes than high daytime temperatures. Jennifer Vanos of ASU was one of the authors who focused on the Southwest, specifically with how the weather extremes of heat, drought, wildfires, and others affect our health. We also see other physical health uh, symptoms around valley fever that connect to dust that needs to be mentioned in the context of a changing climate in the southwest. The report also highlights the efforts made to adapt to our changing climate. Emissions in the U.S. have fallen since peaking in 2007, and efforts to keep reducing them have expanded since the last National Climate Assessment was released in 2018. But the work is far from complete. The more the climate warms, the harder the job and the more resource intensive a job adaptation is. So while we have to work on adaptation, because we already are seeing the effects of global warming, we really need to put in the effort on mitigation. In coordination with the report, the Biden administration announced more than $6 billion in investments for climate resiliency nationwide, including $100 million for water infrastructure upgrades in the West. We really need to just keep pushing hard in this direction. For Impact Earth, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.